Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. The University of Copenhagen in Denmark is home to a unique collection of ancient Egyptian papyrus manuscripts, and we are on the brink of seeing history rewritten. The texts focus on medicine, botany, astronomy, astrology and other sciences that were practiced in ancient Egypt, and a large part of this collection has not yet been translated, leaving researchers excited in anticipation about what they might contain. An international team of researchers led by Egyptologist Kim Reiholt are now translating the previously unexplored texts, which, according to one of the researchers, contain new and exciting insights into ancient Egypt. It's totally unique for me to be able to work with unpublished material. It doesn't happen in many places around the world, says PhD student Amber Jacob from the Institute for the Study of the Ancient World at New York University. She is one of four PhD students working on the unpublished manuscripts held in Copenhagen. Jacob's research focuses on the medical texts from the Teptunis Temple Library, which existed long before the famous library of Alexandria, up until 200 BC. In one of the texts, she has found evidence that ancient Egyptians knew about the existence of kidneys. Jacob said, it's the oldest known medical text to discuss kidneys. Until now, some researchers thought that the Egyptians didn't know about them, but in this text we can clearly see that they did. The papyri also reveal insights into the Egyptian view on astrology. Kim Reiholt said, Today, astrology is seen as a pseudoscience, but in antiquity, it was different. It was an important tool for predicting the future, and it was considered a very central science. For example, a king needed to check when was a good day to go to war. Astrology was their way of avoiding going to war on a bad day, such as when the celestial bodies were aligned in a particular configuration. The unpublished manuscripts provide a unique insight into the history of science. Historians often focus on the Greeks or Romans when referring to the origins of science, but these previously unpublished texts show that science was already well developed before the dominance of those empires. One of the medical texts was written around 3,500 years ago, when there was no written material on the European continent, says Reiholt. Analyzing this 3,500 year old text is the job of PhD student Sophie Schott from the University of Copenhagen. One side of the manuscript describes unusual treatment for eye diseases, whilst the other side describes the ancient Egyptian equivalent of a pregnancy test and scan. She says, the text says that a pregnant woman should pee into a bag of barley and a bag of wheat. Depending on which bag sprouts first reveals the sex of her child, and if neither of the bags sprout, then she wasn't pregnant. Her research reveals that the ideas recorded in the Egyptian medical texts spread far beyond the African continent. She continues, Many of the ideas in the medical texts from ancient Egypt appear again in later Greek and Roman texts. From here, they spread further to the medieval medical texts in the Middle East, and you can find traces all the way up to pre-modern medicine. The same pregnancy test used by the Egyptians is referred to in a collection of German folklore from 1699, and that really puts things into perspective, as it shows that the Egyptian ideas have left traces thousands of years later. Translating the unpublished texts is important work. We still have a very fragmented knowledge of natural sciences in ancient Egypt, and therefore every single new contribution is important. Scientific and mathematical breakthroughs are often attributed to the Greeks or Romans, but these texts are showing something that many already believed, that humanity was already far more advanced before these empires flourished, and they probably inherited their knowledge from empires such as ancient Egypt and the cultures of ancient Mesopotamia. Researchers have already shown that the builders of the Great Pyramid of Giza must have understood Pythagoras' theorem, and this was before Pythagoras was even born. With the Great Library of Alexandria now lost to history, these texts are giving us a glimpse of the knowledge and understanding that was developed by the Egyptians, but was subsequently destroyed, an act that some say set humanity back hundreds of years. 
When these texts are translated in full, we will be able to correctly attribute many scientific innovations to the ancient Egyptians, and finally set the historical record straight. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.